You know, I had a, I had a great experience uh, with Battlestar Galactica. And to me, it was it was all about the script. It came down to it was a human drama, and I was fascinated by the stories of what these people go through in the situations that they're being put in, and making the audience think of would they do the same thing? Would they feel the same way? Would they be able to handle it? And that that's what drew me back with Ascension was. After I read the first three hours, I was incredibly intrigued and I wanted to know what happened. In 1963, kind of during the beginning of the space race and the, and the, the Cold War and the, the Bay of Pigs and everything, the world was in a bit of turmoil. And President Kennedy launched a secret mission to send 600 souls on a 100-year journey to colonize a new planet called Proxima. It's loosely based off of a, a real military uh, project called Project Orion about uh, sending nuclear propulsion ships up into space. And we, we don't know too much about it because it's still classified. But you know, our, our show is, is obviously fictionalized and uh, we pick up 50 years into the journey. It's contemporary, but yet the ship has a feel from the early 60s. It has a, a little bit of a Mad Men in space vibe to it with, with still being a little bit different because it has evolved in its own way. Ascension definitely gets sexy. There is, um, Viandra herself is not shy of trading favors for information. So there's, there's definitely a lot of, of intimacy and sex in the show as well. For me, it's excitement to see the final product and then just hoping it, it captures the, the audience's attention. You never know when it's gonna be magic. And uh, we, just, we just hope that we got magic.